Welcome to this episode of Shaping Your Sound, where we explore the different types of audio effects used in audio production. In this video, we're looking at reverb. Reverberation is the sound that reflects from the surfaces around you in a space. You might have noticed reverb at particular moments, such as singing in the bath or clapping your hands in a church or a concert hall. That reflection and spreading of the sound is reverb. There are three types of sounds that reach a listener from a sound source. First is the sound that arrives directly. Then there's early reflections as the sound first bounces off surfaces. And finally, there's sounds that are reflected multiple times and washed together. Depending on the size of the space and things in the space and the material of the surfaces, the tone and times it takes for the reflections to reach the ears varies and gives each space its own reverb profile. This process is modelled by reverb effects to create natural or unique spatial sound characteristics. Let's use the Dverb plugin that comes with Pro Tools to compare the presence and absence of a reverb effect. I see eyes watching. There are several common types of reverb effect. Let's have a listen to some of them. Hall simulates a large space like a concert hall. Room reverbs simulate smaller spaces and typically have more reflections and shorter reverb times. Plates simulate the metal plate reverb that was once a staple of reverb effects in recording studios. These have a warm sound so are especially useful for vocals. Spring simulates vintage reverbs that work by shaking a spring with an audio signal and they were installed in guitar amps and vintage synthesizers. There are some common parameters on reverb plugins. Pre-delay is the time it takes for reverberation to start occurring after the original sound. Decay is the time it takes for your reverb to fade away to silence. The wet dry mix parameter controls the blend of the dry signal and the wet signal. Dry is the original signal and wet is the reverb effect. I see eyes watching your heart speeding. Don't know what I see, but I can't stop. There are eight reverbs in the Avid Complete plugin bundle, which comes with Pro Tools. Let's have a listen to some of the premium reverb plugins to get an idea of some of the ways you can shape the spatial character of your mix. Reverb One is a great sounding, easy to use reverb modeled after classic Pro Studio reverbs. Let's use the preset called Vocal Spread on the vocal track and hear the difference. I see eyes watching. I see Revibe 2 is a powerful modern room modeling reverb that adds ambient and natural sounding reflections. This time we'll use a studio room preset on the drum track. Space is a convolution reverb that places your sounds in natural sounding spaces. Reverbs are normally categorized into two types, algorithmic and convolution. Algorithmic reverbs like Reverb 1 and Reverb 2 are in essence reverbs created digitally on a computer. 
Convolution reverbs like space record the acoustic response of real world spaces or even other effects and apply that same character to your sounds. Let's listen to the guitar track with the Vintage Spring Guitar Amp preset. <laughs> You can use reverb as a creative effect on individual sounds, or you can make multiple sources in your mix sound as if they're in the same space. Either way, reverb is one of the key ingredients of an engaging and professional sounding mix. 